Hello and welcome to the 13th PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about multi-dimensional arrays, arrays within arrays. So with that let's get into it. We're going to call this we're going to call this uh, a neo array equals and this will be array uh, and we'll specify the array right up in here. And we're going to say, we're just going to make this, uh, uh, well, first of all, it'll be two-dimensional. Uh, but you could go three-dimensional, four-dimensional. I mean, you can go crazy with this. Um, but for now, let's just do, let's say we're going to categorize male and female. <clears throat> so we're going to say uh, male, and then we're going to have female. But let's go ahead and define male first all the way. So a male... Uh, is going to be and then what you'll do is instead of like before then you just specified the value now the value of male is another array and within the array we're gonna have uh, let's just put like three names in here just to populate it we'll say Jeff Bob and um, Bill Next up, comma, because as always, like, like before, you just did the array, you defined it, comma, the next part of the array. So now it's going to be uh, female equals uh, greater than sign. Um, and then this one will be another array. Within this array, we'll have three, three chick names as well. And uh, sorry, women, you guys don't like to be called chicks. We'll call you three lady names. And we're going to have Kelly, Stephanie, and uh, Amy. Now, uh, we'll close this off. And then don't forget our semicolon. And now we have a multi-dimensional array. So if you think about it, we've got categories male and female, and then underneath those categories, we've got names that correspond to the category, so to speak. Um, so what we, what we should do is find a way um, to organize this like on page. If only there was a way. Oh yeah, like I said, we were gonna talk about the for each loop. So let's go ahead and um, mention the for each loop. With that, what we will do is um, we're going to call out each part of the array and then list all the entities within the array. And while we're at it, why not make this a little bit easier to read for the eyeballs, right? Because this is a really long line, long line-itis, as the people like to say. Not me, though. Uh, so we'll do that, right? And then we'll do female. We'll stick female right under here with male because that looks good. Females under male. Anyway, um, this will be good, I think. Yeah, that way, that way, like whenever you're coding, it's always helpful to kind of structure things. So, like, well, while you're running just like a two-dimensional array, and we only have like two things and then three things in there. It's really not too hard to keep up, but like when mail, if mail had like 50 names in it, that would be really tedious to finally find your way to female. And same thing if we had like, um, I'm trying to think of something else we could categorize. I don't know. If we had like, you know, 15 categories and stuff, as you can see, it, or imagine it would get pretty uh, difficult. So you can kind of like break it down like this. Um, either way, it's always going to function. So uh, the next thing we want to do is head up into uh, the for each loop. And for that, I'm actually going to do another video. So uh, pop on over to that video. As always, thanks for watching.